Good morning and welcome to uh, the special Sunday service at First Presbyterian Church in California, Pennsylvania. Everyone is welcome to join us for this worship and uh, to praise God for all of our blessings. And um, it's a special Sunday because this Sunday, uh, First Presbyterian Church is 123 years old. And uh, we usually have a, a celebration when we meet together. Um, I would like to read a poem uh, about the anniversary of the church uh, by, uh, by Diane Greenleaf. And uh, here it is. Thank you for writing this. First Presbyterian Church is 123 years old. Baptisms, weddings, funerals, silver and gold, Sunday school services, recognitions and prayer, hymns and lessons, our sanctuary so incredibly rare. It's birthday time again for our church, high and low, far and wide where to search, looking for the gift that is the perfect fit, something special that would be a hit. Day-to-day -day supplies, always in need, something more abstract, pledge a good deed, just to keep going, keep praying, just to be here. Here's an idea, let's all donate a dollar for each year. Perhaps this year a new tradition will start, a gift above and beyond, right from the heart. Any and all is appreciated, as usual, of course. However, you donate, no matter the source. Thanks in advance, this church family of ours, with prayers and fellowship under sun and stars. Our past, our present, our future, also dear, California, First Presbyterian, our church will be here. That's a fantastic poem. And I know everybody uh, who's a member here has wonderful memories and we will continue to create uh, wonderful memories in the future as well. Um, there is a tradition uh, that was begun and um, I'll just read uh, what we wrote in the uh, newsletter. The 123rd anniversary of First Presbyterian Church will be on Sunday, May 17th. Session is asking all members and friends of First Presbyterian Church to consider donating. In addition to your regular offering, an amount of $123, which represents $1 for each year since the beginning of the church. And of course, we totally understand if you're unable to do that. Um, but if you are able, it is greatly appreciated. Even though we are not meeting face to face, we have uh, many expenses uh, for the upkeep, maintenance, and continuation of our church. And any type of tithing is always greatly appreciated. We give thanks for all you've done and for all of God's blessings um, as we uh, move through uh, this uh, incredibly uh, different time period of our lives. I have a, a couple other announcements. Uh, we've all been praying for Kirk's son, Charles, and I talked with him and uh, he uh, is doing well. There's a fair amount of pain, but less than uh, any of the prior surgeries. Uh, his bad leg will be a little shorter, but not as much as he feared. He'll be on antibiotics for three to six months. So good things uh, are reported at this point. He thanks you for your concern and prayers. And we've all been uh, thinking and praying about uh, him and uh, successful uh, surgery and recovery. We know he struggled quite a bit and we hope that he's on the mend. Um, 
we will uh, share prayers uh, later in the service and um, please uh, we do have a prayer list uh, that we send out regularly please continue to pray for one another and uh, send cards and make phone calls and check up on one another and uh, that's what this community does and um, it's a wonderful thing and now let us all gather together for worship this morning.